back in Tony's office yeah, for a recap. Office. Final days for this office, in fact. There'll be a new color coming, a new desk, a different rug, we're gonna have a different layout, my couch over there. Wow. Over here. Yeah. Grand opening. Um, so if anyone has any office tips, send them along. Seriously, I've never, I mean, like, I never thought I'd have an office. I came, I'm in the cubicle generation, so to have an office is like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> uh, we had a great show. Uh, we had um, Stacey Abrams, uh, who was a candidate for the governor of Georgia, uh, lost narrowly, and is now leading an effort that she calls Fair Fight 2020. It's about voter suppression. Uh, she talks about, among other things, why she says elections are rigged, which is something Donald Trump also says, and they don't like each other. Um, we had a segment about something called the right to repair, which is an issue that affects everything from tractors to smartphones, uh, washer dryers, and anything. Like, you should be able to fix it anywhere, but companies increasingly want to limit where you can get something repaired so that they can bump up the price, it seems, and also maybe encourage you, nudge, nudge, buy a new one. I'm really passionate about this uh, issue. Anna Werner talked to a teenager who had a collapsed lung and a hole in his lung, and the only thing he ever smoked was Juul, he says. Juul has a statement in response to that. Um, and we had James Clear. Uh, it's summer vacation. James Clear is a guy who writes about habits. Uh, he wrote a book called Atomic Habits which sounds deadly, but it's in fact good. And as you come back from summer vacation, and uh, whether you're a kid or a grown up, and you're trying to get back into the swing of productivity, he has tips for being more productive. And that's the news. Oh, that just went in a completely different direction. 